Yeah, so just, just asking for the record, if the Minister could say that, say, from the point of September, any new parents, are there any parents who will have a lower benefit under the new scheme than they would have under the currently existing schemes? That's a question. A more general point is, I mean, I, I'm for universality as a principle. I think that is a, a good thing because it means society as a whole has a buy-in for something. And so I think it's good to, to go for universality. But I think this problem is arising with like, it's half a universality because it's giving a subsidy but to a system that's controlled by private operators who are entitled to just hike up the prices as they wish, a very low paid sector. And like this whole problem comes down to the fact that the, the state is trying to uh, enable some form of universal access, but through private providers. And is, is the answer not to move to a national childcare service and to provide access to childcare as a state provision free at the point of use? Minister, to conclude, please. Maybe I can say it this way. You know, um, I, I am very proud, uh, really, of, of what we managed to achieve in both the lead into and the establishment of the National Child Care Scheme, particularly in relation to a focus on the families that you're speaking about. Uh, and I think you both are fully aware of that, you know, the, one of the major objectives of that scheme, as I've developed it, is, 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 to, uh, is, is to decrease uh, child poverty and increase and empower particularly vulnerable families and lone parents. And we've done it in different ways. And in the old, in, in the, before we moved to the NCS, it's to enable the subsidies for those families who have the least amount of money to get the most subsidies. And, we've tr and we have, and we are maintaining that objective as we move to the NCS. To answer your, so that, let me just put that on the record. We have done that, that will continue to be our objective. To answer Deputy Murphy's question explicitly, um, 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 my hope is that is not the case. But uh, my hope is that that is not the case. But it depends what the age of the children are, what the requirements are, how many time, how many hours they, they need. Uh, what I'm for for childcare. What I am saying is that uh, we have increased the hours uh, of subsidy, particularly with those families in mind. And until you know people ultimately get the subsidies in terms of calculating uh, what their children's ages are, how much that they require, we won't absolutely know. But we will continue to monitor that. There was one other question. I know I've run out of time. Time, but um, uh, I think it was to do the budget, if there was exceptional cases where there was, and, and I guess I would say that we uh, uh, we are open to receiving those uh, uh, concerns um, and 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 to be able to respond. But I think what we've tried to do is to ensure that the overall objectives will be met, and and I anticipate that that will be the case. Thank you, Minister. Question.